The quotient property of radicals will find is similar to the product property of radicals in that the quotient can be broken into several radicals. For example, uh, radical in fraction A over B can be broken into uh, this, the, the, the nth root of A over the nth root, root of B and then simplified. And our whole goal with these radicals is to simplify. When we have a radical with a quotient or a fraction on the inside, we want to simplify it so we no longer have a fraction under the radical sign. So uh, for simplifying uh, the cube root of 3 over 8, we break our radical, radic cube root of 3 over the cube root of 8, and I know the cube root of 8 this point is equal to 2, so uh, my radical simplified is radical 3, or the cube root of 3 over 2. Here I have the fourth root of 5 sixteenths. Again, I don't want to have a fraction as a radical, so I have the fourth root of 5. I break it into uh, the two fourth roots of 16. I know the fourth root of 16 is uh, 2 because 2 times 2 times you know, 2 to the fourth is equal to 16. So I have the fourth root of 5 over 2 and that's this radical simplified. Here I have radical 7 over radical 5. Now here I cannot simplify radical 5, but another um, rule of simplifying radicals is I can't leave a radical in my denominator. Now in order to get this radical out of my denominator, I need to multiply this radical 5 by something to get rid of the radical. Well I know if I multiply a radical times itself, I get the radicand. And so in for that reason, I'll multiply my denominator by radical 5 to get 5, but I must do the same thing to my numerator, right? Because radical 5 over radical 5 is just equal to 1. So I'm not changing my um, fraction or my quotient. So I have radical 7 times radical 5 times radical 5 over radical 5 times radical 5 that gives me radical 7 times radical 5 is radical 35 and radical 5 times radical 5 is 5 so I have my radical simplified where I do not have a, a fraction under my radical sign and I do not have a radical in my denominator. Here I have radical 1 over 12 or 1 twelfth so I take radical 1 over radical 12 uh, radical 1 is 1 and radical 12 is going to be uh, I can break that into uh, 2 squared times radical 3 or 4 times radical 3 I'm going to make that 1 over 2 radical 3, but I can't leave this radical in my denominator, so I multiply my numerator and denominator by radical 3, and I get 1 times radical 3 over 2 times radical 3 times radical 3, which gives me radical 3 over 2 times 3, which gives me radical 3 over 6. And here is my radical simplified.